All right, and the pro tip of the week, you're creating a new admin account. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, this is like grade school stuff, right? And it is, it's not hard. But some to consider that most people go, I don't need a new admin, I got my WP admin, I'm good, don't need to worry about it, um, no worries. Well, just understand that the admin account is the initial target of hackers, that's what they're going after. The administrator controls and installs and removes everything. And so guess what, you're an admin, oh, you're God. So you're God on that machine, that's why they want. But you know what you need to do before you go and, and get this admin account all set up, or before you go and do anything else, is you need to make sure you set up this new account first before you go and delete the old one. Whatever you do, do not delete the old one. Set the first one up and get it set up the way you want to get it set up. Now you can go to the users area. Um, you go down to the WordPress site and click on basically add new user. And when, from that point, you can, then you can download or down click it and go to administrator. Now you, there's a couple of things to consider when you're dealing with an administrator. I do not recommend using admin or administrator or anything like that. Use something different that people will not expect. Do not pick your username as your first name or last name, okay? Pick something unique and different. You know what's even really cool? Just use a bunch of numbers and letters. It's really cool, it's easy, easy peasy. But you could even go the Duke Blue Devils or you could do whatever you want to do. The Duke Blue Devils, they're good, but yeah, they're not my favorite. Jayhawks, go Jayhawks. Um, so again, something to consider is you need to use a different username than what is already being chosen for you, okay? So username and choosing a username, use a couple different options. Uh, and there's something to consider when picking a username. Make it easy to remember. WordPress security, that's not mine, don't use it. Duke Blue Devils, you could use that one, that's cool. Um, but make sure it's obscure is really a good thing too. You could go with a simple thing like Duke Blue Devils, but you could also make it something goofy like THXY349P0TM. You could do that, that'll work, maybe, sort of. So that's up to you, give it a shot. So there's an email address that's also asked for. It's recommended that you put that in there. Um, you can use a random email address that could send it to you. So like you can go to Gmail and create the TXHY349P0TM at gmail.com. And then that will give you alerts right then and there. And you know that something's goofy going on. You can set that up. Or you can set it to your normal Gmail account that's set for your site. It's up to you. Passwords, the same requirements that we stated earlier and we've talked about is that you should have a minimum of 15 characters and that's used. So I wouldn't go less than that and use a password generator to give that to you or you can even use the one password generator that they have in WordPress, it's up to you. But whatever you do, copy that and put it in a oh, password manager or generator, yes, or not generator, manager, manager or vault. So put it in a password manager or vault.